Hello and welcome to another video. Today, I'm taking a look at my brand new computer. So, let's get started. First off, we have the case. It's a Fantex P360A. It's not the first one I wanted to go for, but the the P350X was out of stock everywhere in Europe, so I went with this instead. I've gone for a white theme, as you can see, and I think it looks great. Next up, we have the motherboard. I went for B450 because I want some overclocking and M.2 support, and hopefully some upgradability in the future, maybe to even Ryzen 6000 when it comes around. And this was a good price. I got it for around £62 because there was an offer on uh, where you got £25 cash back. And it's got pretty good IO, uh, four RAM slots, and pretty well built. I like the cover because it hides up the ugly IO. I always thought that was ugly. And why didn't they just do it all the time? But now I have one that looks really nice. So yeah. After that, we have the GPU. I'm keeping my old GTX 970, but in sticking with the white theme, I've kind of gone for something a little bit different. And there, it's now white. I've spray painted it white and made sure it looks amazing. And I think the white paint is holding up pretty well. But in case you didn't see my very first video on it, I'm gonna just lift some of the specs of it. So it's an MSI, GTX 970 Gaming uh, has 4 gigs of GDDR5 VRAM, but half of that is 512 megabytes is, high is low performance, and 3.5 gigs is high performance. It hasn't made a big difference in me, for me, but your mileage may vary if you get a similar card. It has 166, 1664 CUDA cores, a 1178 boost clock, and a 105 base clock. And I bought it from CEX about last year for a hundred pound. Uh, I hundred pounds minus twenty. I can do maths. But yeah, it's a great card. I would recommend getting the nine seventy over, over like a seven eighty because they're very similar price but very similar performance. But it's a very good card. I would recommend it. And they have the power, power supply, which I'm bringing over from my old system. It's a power zone, be quiet. It's a be quiet power zone, sorry. 650 watt. I got it for £60 off an eBay auction. It was open box, has all the parts. It's a great power supply. I really like the look of it. Really good. And now the core of the system. This is Ryzen 5 2600. Now, you may be wondering, second gen? Really? And yeah, I know first gen's cheaper, third gen's better, and fifth gen's unreachable. But second gen's like a good balance between the price to performance, as first gen kind of lags behind, and third gen is still was still new, and the second hand market isn't great. I got mine for a really good price off a guy off Gumtree, and it was basically new been used once and he even kept the little sticker i'm going ryzen because despite because it's second gen having slightly about the same performance as my old one uh, very similar clocks and i've managed to push it to 4.1 gigahertz uh, but with productivity it will just be incredible like a big thing six cores 12 threads out of four and they're they're it's it's fine it's good enough for me. I don't need a Ryzen 7 right now. Maybe one day. But if you need to get some work done, you you need to go Ryzen nowadays. It's not worth spending the extra money to go in high-end Intel or, or mid-range Intel and getting a decent motherboard. It's just, you can get a mid-range motherboard, decent RAM with Ryzen. It's just... A no-brainer for most people. And as I said before, the gaming performance is it's pretty good, actually. It's about the same as my old i5-3570K. But 
slightly better with the 0.1% lows because of the six cores, so it's not going to be overloaded when I have stuff like Chrome tabs open in the background, which was the problem I had before. And finally, we have the RAM. Usually a pretty small, inconsequential thing, just buy the cheapest stuff on Amazon, but mine's a bit of a different story. So first, I was buying it on Black Friday, so I got scammed and didn't get the RAM. Then, I bought it from eBuyer, and it took so long to send it to me that they gave it to me for free. Yeah, I got my RAM, which was £61, for free. Some Patriot Viper stuff, uh, 3200 megahertz. looks really nice, pretty good stuff. I would recommend it because it's pretty cheap, unless Corsair Vengeance stuff is even cheaper, in which case just go for that, but it's pretty decent, it's just, I can't believe they gave it to me for free. And finally, last but not least, I have the CPU cooler. I could have used the stock one, but I was kind of going for a bit more looks with this one, so I went for the Corsair H100X. It's a budget Corsair one, as Corsair AIOs are very expensive, just in general. Uh, but I think it looks nice. It keeps my CPU nice and cool. And I can't really go complain about it. It's not that loud. Just good all round. But now, let's get into the benchmarks. So overall, it's a pretty decent upgrade, about the same performance as gaming as my old one, but with productivity like Premiere Pro and Cinebench, it's far better, and yeah, just a good thing. I'd recommend Ryzen if you're looking to go budget, as Intel is pretty expensive, and if you can find a good used deal, go for it, because I'm really enjoying my time with Ryzen, and I think you will too. So, thanks for watching, sorry about the lack of videos, but I'll hope to get back. I'm going to do a video on a PSP soon, uh, Sony's first ever handheld, and yeah, it should be pretty good. So yeah, until then, thanks for watching.